Rolled up quite late to the boat ramp with the boys. No one's here, so we're kind of a bit suspect. We thought it was meant to be good today, but apparently no one else does. Joshy. Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Joey, thanks first time on the rig. Me and Joey going up to North Queensland in what, a couple of weeks now? Yeah, two weeks. Should, Should be, be good. good. This is where we see uh, whether, you know, where the fools for coming out or whether we fooled everyone getting out here. Sometimes you get in, you're just swimming along like this and then you get this big old mighty pull and it's usually this float caught around the boat. Yeah, this is the motor. This is the Rabby Stealth X roller, absolutely fully pre-tensioned. Trying it out with a reel here, uh, just something different. Josh there over on the reef, and I'm just goofing around. Nice and fishy. Yeah, man. Yep, sounds good. They're probably on top of that ledge, man. This would have been first, second, third dive max, and I swear I'm not usually this lucky, but I don't know, I hadn't seen anything good in the water for a while, and... Thanks, man. We fooled him. Sunk out of here. Really no other boats around. Yeah, sure, not the best visibility, but with a fish like this, you can't complain. Probably one of the worst shots you can do on a fish like this is up high. They just have so much more power uh, when you shoot them up there. Often the best line for them is about the top of that that yellow there, I reckon, is where you can get the, the stone shot. So that's what you want to be aiming for. So he absolutely whooped me down there. Take him here, run on the reef. Thankfully, Joey was right next to me. Cracking start to the day. I'm going to get in there and uh, spot the boys. Andy, where's Joey? That away? Sure. Now I was mainly spotting Joey. It'd be a bit, you know, rude to be hunting hard for kingies when. <laughs> You know, the boys hadn't got one yet. There's um, King Rass in the distance there. And this fish is interesting. In a second, you should see a fish emerge that's called a zebra fish. Now, it's not very common. I've only seen a few of these. They're in the same genus as Luderick. Would have been a cool capture, maybe one day. So fishy. It really was so fishy. Mm. Rass, Moe, Grubber, Rass, more Rass. Okay, and Joey, hello. Boy Josh asked if you bring a mate out from work, which is Jake there in the back left. And you know, he's maybe a little bit nearer diving than the rest of us, and maybe missing a few things from his. Kit. I got first fish, which means I'm next boat. Yeah, it's just sorry, sorry. standard rules, really. Jake didn't forget the Swiss shank. That's a dog. Hey, how good's that? <laughs> So when we don't anchor and we drive around like this, we drop the boys on, say, specific spots. And it's pretty hectic, especially for a, a new diver, someone who hasn't dove like this with us. And you can see Jake just, yeah, he's he's caused himself a bit of a mischief and we'll get him in there though. Yeah, so this is what it looked like down there. The 
visibility's kind of cleared up, you can see. Looking a bit better. Oof. Yeah, I just jump up on the step. So I took the boys on lots of drifts, I promise. And after many, 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 it was my turn again. The last one, we go. Thanks, mate. Grim bears. Get him, boys. <laughs> Jumped in. It looked nice. So many sweep here, but you know, sometimes it takes many drifts to kind of get the right spot, get the right angle of the dangle. Pretty deep. <laughs> All right, this looks good. This looks promising. This looks very fishy. I'm just like, where? There's gotta be fish anywhere. But if I see one, I, I feel bad. Oh, yeah, the boys hadn't seen anything. It's been a long, hard day. What if I see one? What, what do I do? You know I want one though, deep down. Ooh, gray nurse. Oh. I've got a solid feed of kingfish, so the plan is to share this with as many people as possible. First though, ugh, let's go. Beautiful fillet. Um, Got a fair bit of kingfish here, probably about six odd kilos each. Um, so yeah, plenty to go around. I think I mentioned the compost bin a little while ago. Here's the um, here's what I have under the sink. Chuck your scraps in there. Yep, got the Italian work boots on. Um, and yeah, pretty much this goes straight in here. All that kingfish. Just gonna go around and give it to some mates. Share the love. How's it going? How are you going? Good, good. This is the fish. Oh, thank yeah, you. Some fish. Oh. There's a the fish. Yeah. There you go, mate. Beer in the fridge or not? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in the fridge. <laughs> there you go, mate. There you go, doggy. Mate, legend. <laughs> Someone got the fish. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, man. Bye. Last bag, and we did it. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just put the uh, fish frame in the water. How it should be back into the system, back into the ocean. That's what we want it to be like when we go out. Oily, slick, flat as, you can just say. Like, See you out there. That's out of the shower, then. Yeah. Put it in the 